When it comes to feedback, a lot of people have a hard time providing it because it's thought of once things aren't going well. Here's my advice to being a credible feedback provider. First, consider feedback as a priority, as a must have when it comes to your communication. It's safe to say that we can all appreciate when we're given positive feedback or when we're given examples of things that we did that were helpful. Well, it's important to remember that those around us need that as well. It's important to be able to provide feedback throughout the year. It not only makes the communication consistent, but it even makes those more difficult conversations around negative feedback a little bit easier to have. Second, assess how much feedback you're giving to those around you. Are you providing it year round? Are you providing positive and negative feedback? And last but not least, are you asking for feedback? And not only asking for feedback from perhaps somebody that you report to, but also that those individuals that you work with or even those that report to you. Not only do you demonstrate that you can listen and hear suggestions, but it also provides a two-way conversation versus just a one-way. Last but not least, I want to share my motto with you. That is, the toughest conversations are the most important ones to have. Yes, they're difficult, and it's easier to postpone them. But the longer you postpone those difficult conversations, it doesn't lead to anything good. It could lead to defensiveness, and it puts your own credibility at risk. Bottom line, if you provide feedback throughout the year, and you also make it a priority to get feedback from others, you not only demonstrate that you are an honest, direct feedback provider, but you are also a credible communicator.